Alright, hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over the Dispri stats and pawn strings. So, the first thing I would like to say is if anyone doesn't know where to get pawn strings, all you need to do is jump on to the How to Priest Discord. You can type in exclamation mark pawn disc raid or pawn disc dungeon, or if you just put in disc, it'll give you a combined score. You type that in, and then you'll get a message that just tells you your. your um, Normalized rating, your normalized rating for your stats. Now today I want to be going over the disc free stats um, and what they mean for you. So as we can see here from the raid stats, that you have a heavy rating on haste, with followed by mastery, followed by crit, then versatility. Now, one thing you need to know about these pawn strings and with simulators and all the rest of it is that they're done off a base template of stats. Um, they're not done off your own stats, and they're done with a simulation that is, or can be, very different to the fight you're actually doing. So, um, with with these pawn strings, there is, you know, there is a certain level which you need to be looking at them and be like, hey, is this right for me? So, today we're just going to be talking about how your actual stats interact together and why this pawn string is not necessarily always correct. So the first thing, obviously, is that the pawn strings, unless you're simulating themselves by yourself with a certain combat routine, those, these uh, ratings are not tailored for your, your, um, your specific gear set. So we know just as a disparate as a whole, that we have the highest rating on haste because of the static value that atonement has. So atonement will have a flat 15%, 18% with uh, sorry, 18 second uptime with contrition. And the more haste you get, the more atonements you can get out. And because um, haste affects power word shield, you get a really good return on this. Um, another thing to note as well, because the disc priest does actually have some mana return. Um, through talents, and that mana return does scale off haste. Haste does actually scale very well for Disc Priest, even when you're concerned about mana, because you are generating mana based on how much haste you have. And that is with all the um, uh, all the mana regeneration talents in the tier 60. They all scale with haste, so haste is a fairly good fairly good stat for Disc Priest, just because of you know how mana works. So. When we're looking at these stats, we have to appreciate, obviously haste is the best, then it's followed by mastery. So now this this rating, um, this, this pawn string, only considers your throughput. So if you're more concerned about you know, your overall performance as a disc priest, um, you would value crit higher than you would haste. Now there's no pawn string, there's no, um, well there can be, but if you're, how do, how do you weight what your damage is versus what your healing is, that's just something you kind of have to personally decide, you know, how much do you care about your damage and how much do you care about your healing and kind of weigh that up and, you know, know what your rating needs. So there's no way to get, you know, an actual rating for for any of your disc stats, stats in fact. So, you know, looking at these, if you if you play your disc priest as, you know, I want to be the 3.5th healer, or, you know, 0.5 of a healer, so you're really concerned about your, your damage, that could be a, you know, a high part of your rotation, so you might look at your gear and be like, well, mastery is basically worthless, now there's nothing wrong with you playing with no mastery, your healing will be, you know, slightly less, because um, mastery does scale less um, per point, uh, sorry, mastery does scale more per point for healing than what crit or versatility would, um, and even haste for that matter. Mastery will give you more healing than haste. So if we go through a slight stat breakdown, we need 350 haste to get 1% haste. We need 375 crit to get 1% crit, and we need 400 versatility to get 1%. Um, so, and then mastery is 250. So obviously mastery will scale better because it doesn't scale your damage, and it doesn't scale your other healing spells like powered shield, um, the, uh, the smite absorb, and shadow mend. So, when you're looking at these, don't take these as gospel. Is basically the point I'm trying to get across. Um, you know, there's there's different ways you can play your dis, dis, dis priest. There's different ways you can value different stats. So, end of the day, pawn, the pawn string will not be, um, you know, perfect for what you're trying to do or how you prioritize or, or whatever. Another thing I want to talk about 
is how how these simulators value haste. So haste is generally valued a lot higher than it really should be. And that is because as as you're not a robot, as you don't play perfectly, you're going to miss globals. You're going to miss doing things, you know, on the global on the exact time, you know, for every every millisecond you're short, the value of haste is decreased. The value of haste, you know, is is actually significantly decreased if you're missing globals, especially if you're, you know, you're running around or doing something, um, you know, and you're well. I guess for a disc priest, all your all your spells that are on a on a haste reduced cooldown are in, and on, sorry, are you know have the reduction. So like power shield has a reduction, but still, anyway, if you're when you're missing globals and when you're not doing things absolutely perfectly, the value of haste gets significantly decreased. So, you know. When you're looking at this string, you could say haste is, you know, less than what it is. Now, I want to just go over personally, you know, why I actually don't use pawn, um, and that's because I have a fairly good understanding of how the stats work together. So, for people who who don't appreciate how the multiplicative stats work, is that, for example, the more haste you get, the more your other stats are worth. So, for you to get an increase of one percent damage, you know, if I'm at if I'm at twenty six percent haste. For me to get 1% of equivalent damage and healing from my haste, I need to be getting 1.26% haste increase. Whereas if I wanted to get, you know, 1% increase from versatility, I might only need to get 1.04% versatility because my versatility is only at um, 4%. So that might not make sense to people, but it's the, the basic concept is the more you have of a single stat, the more your other stats are valued. So, when you're having a look through your gear, um, what you basically on a disc priest, the the easiest way to go about it is I just equip most things with a higher item level, um, except for rings and necks and trinkets. So, with the rings and necks, you want to make sure you either have haste mastery or haste crit, depending on what you value as a disc priest. Um, for the trinkets, you generally want to be running with the two mana regeneration ones, so they're promises and seventh spine. You know, depending on how you how you value it, you can also be using you know some stat sticks or some on uses or whatever. But the general idea is for most pieces of gear, you want to be using things with higher item levels, and that is just because the disc stats themselves are all actually pretty close. So even though the value of haste here is you know significantly higher than the value of versatility, because most of my gear that I am going to be getting, I'm going to be prioritizing haste. If I was to look at a piece of gear, you know, just out of the blue right now, you know, to equip one piece of gear, versatility would actually almost be as valuable as haste at this point when I have this much haste and this little versatility. So, you know, my the the point the point is is that even though that these this stat weighting is what it is right now. You know, it's, it tells me that haste is better than versatility. These these stats don't have anything to do with my actual gear, and they're not modeled for my gear. So they're not, you know, they're not accurate. They're they're good enough as a guide if you're not um, too concerned about what you're wearing, or you know, if you if you're not that cluey about how your stats interact, or you know, what might be an upgrade, etc. Um, you know, equipping equipping something with a higher item level as a disc priest, especially, is generally going to be a safe bet. Um, and and the general the general you know thing for disc priest is that you can't you can't really go wrong. Um, if you're talking about mythic dungeons, that's a whole other story. Um, that is where mastery isn't really worth much at all. But for for ra in a raid environment, you know, you'll find that pretty much anything with a higher item level will be an upgrade. Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.